Dear EV haters, your chariot has arrived. It's a finely appointed luxury liner. It's a grand touring track specialist. It's a four-door sedan. It's the all-time sleeper. And it makes Tesla yesterday's news. We're talking about the 2024 Lucid Air Sapphire, an absolutely bonkers technological tour de force, electric style. Anyone that thinks electric vehicles are lame will need to sit down and prepare to have your automotive reality flipped upside down. For example, in its tamest setting, the Sapphire only delivers 703 horsepower. You know cars have gotten crazy when 700 horses is the starting point, and we love it. But before we get too frothed up over the Lucid Air Sapphire, would you be so kind as to hit the subscribe button below? Everyone here at the Empty Garage will appreciate it. Now, if you Google the Lucid Air Sapphire, you'll be bombarded with outrageous figures. 1,234 horsepower, 1,430 pound-feet of torque, a 205 mile per hour top speed, 60 in 1.89 seconds, 100 in 3.84 seconds, and a quarter mile in under nine seconds. Eat your heart out, Dominic Toretto. All of these metrics are incredible. I mean, 1.89 seconds to hit 60 miles an hour? Huh? I can't speak to what that must feel like behind the wheel, but Kyle Hyatt from Jalopnik certainly can. During a recent run with the Sapphire, a pair of quarter mile passes had him ready to puke and left him with a wicked headache. That sounds terrible, and where do I sign up? But here's the really crazy thing, folks. The Sapphire is spectacularly fast, but that's not the reason Lucid developed it. They unleashed this electrified beast to dominate the bendy bits, the canyon corners, and yes, the racetrack. As David Lickfold, Lucid's director of vehicle dynamics, told Motor Trend, the additional motor brought a lot more power, but, quote, crucially, torque vectoring. That additional motor turns the Sapphire into a tri-motor super sedan. Specifically, it is mounted out back to form a twin rear drive unit. Each of those units is rated for 500 kilowatts or one megawatt in total. That's not quite the 1.21 gigawatts that Doc Brown needed to send the DeLorean back to the future, but it is a whole lot of juice. And since Lucid had the Sapphire in mind from day one, this upgraded powertrain fits neatly into the rear end without any reduction in cabin space. Okay, so the wizards at Lucid slapped on a third motor, turned the power output dial up to 11, and called it the Sapphire? Well, not exactly. The Air Sapphire actually kicks off Lucid's performance sub-brand. Think AMG Black Series or the Audi RS variants. But far more insane. Across the Air lineup, only the Sapphire comes with three electric motors. Which is not to say the regular Air sedans are lame in comparison. The Grand Touring Performance model makes over a thousand horsepower. But the Sapphire goes much further. Like the rest of the Air lineup, the Sapphire's motors use Lucid's microjet stator cooling and wave winding technology. But the exclusive dual rear setup introduces new heat exchanger technology and an increased coolant flow rate. As well, the battery's system's thermal logic has been upgraded. To get all that power to the corners and prevent endless four-wheel smoky burnouts, though that is of course possible, Lucid leaned on its in-house gurus to design a revised traction control system. Why? Because the vendor supply units could only react every 20 minutes milliseconds. The in-house design could do it in just one millisecond. Remember that earlier comment about torque vectoring? Well, this lightning fast system was required to control the staggering levels of torque both front to back and left to right in the rear. In the Sapphire, Lucid's torque vectoring system can run fully independent positive and negative torque application per wheel. This means that while cornering, the outside rear wheel can be powered up while the inside rear wheel can be powered down to add yaw and help rotate the Sapphire more effectively. Think rear wheel steering, but quieter and a whole lot faster. That sounds nice, you may be thinking, but surely all this battery power means the Sapphire is stupendously heavy, right? Well, yes, the Sapphire is indeed quite the porker, tipping the scales at a pleasantly plump 5,336 pounds. Which leads to the next logical question for any self-respecting car nerd. How on earth can a car approaching the heft of a Chevy Tahoe possibly be called a track special? The tires, friends, the tires! First off, they're enormous. The 20-inch fronts are 10.4 inches wide, and the 21-inch rears? 11.6 inches wide. It feels inappropriate to be this excited at such a number, but holy cow, that's a big contact patch. Then there's the multi-compound rubber. Developed by Michelin exclusively for the Sapphire, these Pilot Sport 4S tires have a firmer compound down the middle and stickier rubber on the shoulders to maximize grip in the twisties and limit rolling resistance in a straight line. I'm getting lightheaded just imagining how stupendously expensive these tires must be to replace. But when you're dropping a cool quarter million bucks on a car, lightheadedness probably isn't part of the deal. Almost forgot. 
There's also a bit of suspension wizardry at work with the Sapphire. Because Lucid had always planned to unleash this cruise missile, it was able to generally work within the suspension system found on lesser air sedans. But everything has been retuned. The adaptive Bilstein dampers have unique settings, as does the ABS, stability control, brake booster, and electric power steering. Revised coil springs bring the Sapphire closer to the ground, and all the hard bits, springs, bushings, and anti-roll bars have been tuned for the track. So the Sapphire is powerful as hell, can dial up terrifying speed in the blink of an eye, destroy the tail of the dragon, and rotate through a hairpin with the best of them. But do you know what's more exciting than driving a car so hard that you nearly barf? Being able to stop without nearly soiling yourself. To that end, Lucid went equally wild with the Sapphire's braking system. For starters, the rotors are truly massive, measuring 16.5 inches up front and 15.3 inches out back. The front calipers have 10 pistons, Naturally, the rotors are carbon ceramic, but like with everything on this Lucid, these are not your everyday carbon ceramic rotors. And by everyday, we mean the $10,000 ceramic composite brakes you can fit to your 911 Turbo. But those fancy rotors use short strands of chopped up carbon fiber. This is okay, but Lucid was looking for something better. So they partnered with Surface Transforms out of England, a company that specializes in carbon ceramic brakes constructed from long strands of this wondrous material. They're designed for better thermal management and a better chance at keeping your trousers clean. You know what this all adds up to? The Lucid Air Sapphire unofficially beating the best of the best in car and driver's recent zero to 150 mile an hour to zero test. It did the deed almost four seconds faster than the mighty Porsche 911 Turbo S. Not even Tesla's Model S in plaid pajamas could keep up. There's more to the Lucid Air Sapphire. The exclusive blue paint job, the carbon fiber ducktail spoiler, the Alcantara everything interior, and so on and so forth. But here at the empty garage, we can't help but get most fired up about performance. And on that front, the Sapphire delivers. 